Hello everyone, Bud here at Dependable Lawn Care. I mentioned a few weeks ago that I was probably going to be making a mounting system for the Billy Goat walk behind blower. And I finally figured out what I was going to do and came up with something. So um, as you guys know, or most of you know, I have the Jericho. Uh, this is just the universal mount because they don't or didn't at the time make one specifically for the Z3X but the universal mount worked just fine for the, the Z3X. So since I have the Jericho mount, what I did was I took some square tube, or rectangular tube rather, this is inch and a half by four inch rectangle tube. And what I did is just made an attachment that attaches directly to some of the factory holes in the, in the walk behind blower. And then obviously I can pin it straight to my Jericho hitch and use it as a uh, mobile unit, you know, rather than walking behind it. Now, the only downside is that, you know, obviously with how this sticks out, it sticks out about eight inches from the from the blower, so it could definitely be a, a shin buster. Uh, but when we use it as a walk behind unit, we'll just have to be mindful of that, be careful. I think most of the time, for most applications, most properties. We're going to be using it attached to the mower anyway, so it's probably not going to be much of an issue. So what did I wanted to show you guys, not just the mount that I made, which, you know, that's pretty basic. Anybody could come up with that. Um, obviously, this unit has to sit above the ground so that it doesn't drag. And so it sits above the ground about three or four inches. And with my trailer gate down the way it is right now, I can pull the mower up to it, back this unit up to the mower, and uh, hook it up just like that and then just drive away with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up real quick and I'll show you guys how it all works. It's not hard once you locate the holes. So as you can see, the hardest part of that is locating the holes. So let me back this off of here and move it around a little bit so you guys, so you guys can see how it functions on front of the mower. All right guys, so as you can see, it hovers above the ground a few inches, which allows me to make my turns without dragging the tires. And then it has enough pivot on the front tire, or you know, front to back, that you can go through a ditch or up a ramp or over a curb, whatever you need to do. It's gonna allow it to pivot and not tear something up. So anyways, that's what I came up with. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, get out there and make some money, and I'll catch you on the next one.